single target DPS from the Cassiopeia and then have the Sivir to finish it all off. They have a super strong team fight. So for SKT, they need to whittle them down before or keep them split. And it does feel like SKT. Where Jace Very... wants to excel. Laners seem to be able to go even though. Unless Bengi can find an opening here. Yeah, Jensen kind of got poked down. He does have some, so Bengi's gonna get the stun. Plans it, Bengi flashes forward, and first blood goes to Elise. The disrespect oh, for He will walk over, Pinkboard has to clear it. That buys you time in the bottom lane or in the top lane. This is dangerous, actually. Jensen gonna get donated the blue successful steal there, and Meteos, can he just walk away from it? Gets Cocoon, but he can impact. Game, this back. will be repeated for SKT. They need to poke down C9 before they fight here. Jensen finally oh, flashes. It's too late. He flashed the stun, but the ulti still killed him. I mean, you would Never expect Jensen to know the limits of these champions. A little awkward there. Wolf again with a double pulverize. Gonna knock one back in, but doesn't quite get smoothie. Wolf taking damage. No ulti is sneaky pops his to get them out of the way. Bang. It's Faker, the old wily veteran now, after being the young buck a few years ago, doing his casual thing. Now stealing away the blue buff. Double blue buff, maybe for Faker. Got it off Jensen already. Bengi actually gonna get donated. The thing about SKT this season, we saw MSI. They rose up after a low delay. Sneaky taking a decent trade in Bob, but it was all about a slow start by SKT. Wolf has to They're actually going in. Yeah, Wolf did force the ulti out. Bang uses his as well. Smooth. Hitting Mystic shots as Bang wants it, he's oh, more Q! Sneaky does block! Takes the tower hit, knows his limits well, Cloud9 are converting for an objective here. So they will need to get it here, and Fake will be first. Meteor smites it away, but SK tells him. Obviously didn't get stunned. Meteos again, oh, misses the Q. Dance moves from Fake, or twice from Meteos now, and now from the flash ult. So much invested by Jensen, expect Bengi to go there as impact. Oh, Juke's actually winning this by himself, but Bengi flashes it again! Yet another kill for the world champion! That's that new Jace right now there. Playing with. Yeah, C9, they're playing a similar style as they did in playoffs, where they leave Infect on an island. Oh, good Baker. stun again. Faker looking for the all-in. Jensen does get the stun, but Wolf is here to complete it. Ah, oh, the, the change is here. The new C9, he just An aggressive into C9's jungle. Meteos had great presence early on, and this bottom lane is now going to get visitors. Wolf actually going in, but Sneaky's low. Teleport's coming in for SKT, and Sneaky's already been exhausted. Wolf cutting it out of Smoothie, trying to zone, but here comes Juke. But Impact, can he save his teammates? Good flat from Sneaky. Gets his way out from under it. Bang, though, looking to follow through, and Impact just can't do enough. Overheated and silence. Bang with a double from the Ezreal. This is what's happening. SKT have just been strangling C9 out of the game. Right. Yeah, C9 mimicking that style from playoffs. Another oh, no, not against again. another stun combo from Wolf. Yeah, Wolf goes in. Now the combo through, and the ult is easy. Wolf, hey, gets another one. Land the combo, earn a kill. I mean, that makes sense for Alistar and Syndra. This tower is going to go down as well. And I did mention they weren't too far behind. Only moments ago, all of a sudden, this gold lead is ridiculous. He is not much better than his opponents to the point where he can solo kill them. So they 2v2 run. time, Meteos gonna get knocked back though by the Jace and stunned into the cocoon by Bangi. Ultimate's nice from Impact, but Bangi looking to go back in. Juke now gonna fight it out. Impact just takes so much damage. Great kick though from Meteos, might get himself too as he's chasing. Down for a couple more. They need the kills and Meteos gets one. And he ends up being a one for one, but when you're this far back and reassess, but then you're seeding map control over to SKT. When they're ahead, they always look good, and another fight. Keeps getting worse, Sneaky caught. Cocoon just clips him, and Smoothie flash ult, he's out. He'll save his own life, maybe, but Sneaky, not so lucky. Nah, you can definitely tell that Alistair faded out of playing against the strongest team in their group. Well, Jensen again, gonna get all in by Bye. Faker. That ultimate's easy clean up. Faker, another kill now. Funnily enough, he's joined them in support of from SKT. I agree, actually. That's the last thing we need to judge them. Good laning, good macro here. Duke maybe can make a good micro to get out of this situation. Nope. Not, not enough. Meteos goes back in. Hit out though by Thundering Blow. Turret's going down in the meantime, but Impact's looking to chase down for another. Kicked into the wall. Q misses. Meteos! That's not what you want at all, but Impact does get the kill. It's very much MVP. a mean inhibitor turret going down. Faker's looking for some cleanup too. 1v2. Meteos goes back in, but the ultimate's not enough to kill Impact. Meteos dashes back in, but Faker launches forward for the kill. Don't you going to be thrown down! Telecom though is still insanely far ahead in this game, so they're gonna have to dig real deep to stay in it. This is what SKT wants to do. Either poke them from far enough away that they can't engage, or split them up, poke them on individual lanes here. Cheeky little move by Bangi as well, getting a spider link to attack the tower so he can chase Meteos. That forces a flash. Right now, Wolf can play Gatekeeper here, and Faker. Uh oh, Meteos, I'm not sure he's gonna make his way far in. The Q's run out, and there's the smite away. Juicy open in him, so 
Unless a miracle flank happens here for Cloud9. I'm not sure this will happen. Bang! Actually gonna oh. give us that flash out of the way, but the rest of Cloud9 are gonna chase down. Arcane shifts over the wall on these teams. We're gonna try and save him, but Sneaky grabs the shot. That whoop re-engages oh. that. So much damage from the Jays. Jurik gonna get himself exhausted and knocked off, and Jensen flushing out trying to cut the team by Cloud9. Might have made something happen, but Faker grabs a double in and amongst all the chaos. Impact finds his way back into the fight, but I think now he's got a little too far forward. Yeah, I can see exactly how strong the oh. oh. was. In Back they're coming near this. Yeah, they're definitely not going to get close. And this is where we can start looking back at the draft even for C9 and question some of these picks like the early rotation, the Lee Sin over the Elise. That mechanic's actually really good against hard engage comes when you're playing Polka. Right now we see Duke getting a little greedy called out, but he's buying time for his team. He gets knocked up there for the Bro Multi. Rumble Ulti's down and Impact does claim one for C9, but yeah, top lane broken completely through. SK Telecom yeah. claim SK Telecom, even with Duke absent and with no teleport. They are just going to try and close the game out here. It's difficult to do so. It's just fine. A lot of damage on him. Bang and Faker though, so they'll poke around. Will take Duke a long time to get back from base. You mentioned already. No teleport. Meteor goes Faker. Maybe a little too much. Does get exhausted down, but Meteor's taking too much damage. Bengi just kind of keeping the rest of the backline out for Cloud9 and the maximum 16,000 gold lead. And C9 just playing to extend the game. Yeah, playing to extend the game. But this game already answered some questions that we had off their group. Oh, Faker. Faker with some fans of Jukes here. Impact's coming. Hey, hello to uh, the Oh, good Zonya's Jukes here as well. Jensen gonna try and follow up, but gets out from under the shock blast. Wolf here to protect his carries, so SKT will not have anyone fall. But Sneak is what matter is what a lot of people were debating still. Very uh, decisive victory here. Combo and Smoothie. Smoothie's gonna drop it. Right now, it's fish in a barrel for C9. Yeah, and it's kind of been that way for most of this game. Kind of ever since that mid game really broke open, SK Telecom looks strong in the lanes. Look, they'll never drop the beat here. In fact, good flash gets himself up under the cocoon, but bangs all in on the Ezreal. Wolf goes in with a double man pole, and there's Meteor trying to chase them out of the way, but Bengi's too far ahead. He will go down as Invex able to take him. And SK Telecom with the Nexus open are going to try and close the game. Sneaky takes out Duke. And they're looking to trade back here, but Bang takes out Sneaky to return. Jensen's going to fall down as Bang gets a double. Meteos falls as well as Wolf claims another victim. And with four dead, SK Telecom will take down Cloud9. Big win for SK Telecom. Mind the gap is what they say, right?